Why did our Tesla-owning author trade in his perfectly good Model S electric car? And which carmaker's executive all but confirmed our theory about some spy shots we ran? This is our video look back at the week in reverse, right here at Green Car Reports, for the week ending Friday the 13th in February 2015. Friday, we reported on an item that came out of Tesla's year-end financial results call. The company is planning to offer batteries for home energy storage. The advantages of adding a battery to photovoltaic solar panels are numerous. It lets the home not only generate electricity, but store it. The battery can provide backup power in the event of a grid outage, and it may even reduce the cost of the panels required. Tesla says more details will be forthcoming within the next month or so. Stay tuned on that one. Thursday was all about the Chicago Auto Show. We described the Kia Trailster E all-wheel drive concept, which adds an electric motor to the rear axle of the Kia Soul to give it all-wheel drive. This so-called through-the-road hybrid system turns the tall wagon into a crossover utility vehicle. We're pretty sure an all-wheel Soul will go into production, and we suspect it'll do very well for Kia, depending, of course, on how it's priced. GM opened the Chicago show by confirming it will build the Chevy Bolt 200-mile electric car. And we also covered the updated 2016 Chevy Equinox compact crossover. Wednesday, we suggested a way to resolve the never-ending debate about whether hydrogen fuel cell or battery electric cars will win the zero-emission vehicle battle. Why couldn't one car maker, we asked, offer the same car with both technologies and simply let the market decide? We know, we know. As one reader once said, we're nothing but hopeless idealists waving rainbows and riding unicorns while we strew fairy dust and wait for world peace and harmony to erupt. Gee, that doesn't sound so bad, does it? On Tuesday, our Tesla-owning author George Parrott explained why he had to trade in his perfectly good Tesla Model S to get the new P85D model. We also published some shots a reader sent us of a camouflaged Fiat 500X being tested very near Chrysler headquarters. We asked if it might be the next Fiat electric compliance car. A Chrysler executive we met later in the week told us it was a very interesting article and congratulated us for running it. We're going to take that as a yes. And we kicked off the week on Monday by taking a look at some of the reasons why the Tesla Model X has been delayed so often. Among them were range, towing, and those challenging Falcon doors. Incidentally, later in the week, we found some photos of the Tesla Model X electric crossover undergoing road testing in California. Tesla told us it won't unveil the Model X until the car is actually being delivered to its first customers, and the company confirmed that's still on track for the third quarter. Until then, watch for a whole lot more spy shots, rumors, and suppositions about the big electric SUV.